Some light on what this really means is Governor Mike Huckabee. Governor, welcome. Good to see you tonight. I mean, thank you, Martha. Volkswagen settles and, you know, and, and all the people who uh, were mistreated by the banks. We heard so much about it. And I would didn't you just assume that the money was going to the people who got hurt in those transactions? I mean, it's unbelievable. Yeah, this is it, it is unbelievable. Somebody ought to go to prison for this. I mean, this is worse than a mafia shakedown, because at least if the mafia shakes you down for protection, your store doesn't burn down. Mm -hmm. But this is a case where the liberals have played Robin Hood. They've stolen from the, the government, the taxpayers, and they've given it to their pals. It's really outrageous. And I, I think that part of it that is so frustrating, imagine, for example, if under a Republican Department of Justice, the Department of Justice had allocated money to the national right to life, or if they'd allocated it to the NRA. Right. Can you imagine how that would have gone over with the Democrats? I don't think very well. You know, Senator Langford of Oklahoma and House Judiciary Chairman Bob Goodlatte are, are behind this uh, Stop Settlement Slush Fund Act of 2017. I mean, this is what we talk about when you talk about draining the swamp, right? I mean, this, this, is, this is pretty murky swamp here. Well, it's real murky swamp, and the sad thing is, it's taxpayer money, money that should have gone either to the customers of an organization fine. Keep in mind how simple this is. You're a bank, you get fined. Well, instead of paying the full fine to the government, to the Treasury Department, or giving it back to your customers, you instead make a donation to some liberal group. Now look, Martha, I don't care if the donation is to a liberal or conservative group. This violates the Constitution because only Congress can appropriate money. This is outrageous. Yeah, and you know, when you look at the, the protection of the system in, in, in D.C., you know, they looked into it that both the Government Accountability Office and the Congressional Research Service concluded that the settlement, settlement agreements did not violate Congress's power of the purse. So, you know, they sort of circled the wagons on this, right? Well, sure, they're, they're protecting each other, but I think any simple reading of the Constitution says that yeah. uh, you don't have bureaucrats who can just create money out of thin air that doesn't have an appropriation from Congress. Congress has the power of the purse. If it's not an appropriation, I don't care if it's at the state or the federal level, the executive branch can't just yeah. go out and say, we'd like to spend some money. Doesn't yeah. matter whether Congress has approved it, we're going to spend it because we want to. Wait, it doesn't work debt. like that. I mean, how about maybe paying a little bit of that down uh, with the money? But it has to be dispersed to different organizations. Unbelievable. Governor Huckabee, it's always a pleasure to see you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Martha. So it is March 1 today, and it begins Women's History Month. So tonight, we're going to show you a quote from Margaret Thatcher, one of the most influential politicians of the 20th century, born the daughter of a grocer. She ascended the ranks of British politics, became the first female prime minister of the United Kingdom. So here is a gem of a quote, it's a pretty short one, from Lady Thatcher, who said this, being powerful is like being a lady. If you have to tell people you are, you aren't. Good words from Margaret Thatcher tonight. Thanks for watching.